You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. So, my history with the canonical Resident Evil franchise goes something like this. No. Yes. Yes. Sure. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, whatever. Hell no. Yes. No. Hell yes. Resident Evil 7 is that hell yes. I don't know where Capcom came from with this. They've been treading water for like a decade. The Resident Evil franchise fell apart after 4. I mean... Yeah, 5 was fine. 6 was one of the great travesties of gaming. And then Revelations came along and kind of redeemed things, and then Revelations 2 is not very good. But now it seems like Capcom has decided to actually go back to its roots with survival horror and has delivered this amazing first-person experience, highly reminiscent of games like Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and Outlast, of course but without feeling derivative. The incredible thing is that all the way through the opening hours of this game, Resident Evil 7 feels like Resident Evil. It feels like being back in Spencer Mansion for the first time. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The graphics are fantastic. The writing is excellent. The voice acting is amazing. The entire Baker family all sound both really campy, but also terrifying at the same time. They really add to the atmosphere. The opening boss battle is really cool. There's some really weird, wacky shit going on in that thing that surprised the hell out of me. I gotta say, I really had my doubts uh, when it came to the one hour demo that Capcom put out for this game. It felt like it was going to be derivative. It felt like they were just trying to rehash PT and cash in on that. But no, that's not the case. One of the things I really like about Resident Evil 7 is that there is always a way to defend yourself, unlike games like Amnesia or PT or Outlast. You have weapons, you have the means to actually defend yourself against the threats or run if you choose to. Playing with that sense of empowerment is what makes this game feel more like a Resident Evil game. Because if you remember back to Resident Evil 1, there was this option to defend yourself. The difficulty didn't come from this creeping fear that you needed to be avoiding your enemy at all times. It came out of the choice to defend yourself or to run at any given moment. Also, I have to say, Capcom has actually done a really amazing job with the PC port on this one. It's been running beautifully on my rig. I had to crank some of my settings down. I had to turn down the texture detail a little bit. But once I dialed it in, it ran flawlessly for the rest of the opening hours. And I couldn't be more pleased. So not to get out too far ahead of the review, but at this point... Resident Evil 7 is a definite recommendation if you're interested in survival horror at all. It's like coming home again. Good job, Capcom. Would you please just do the same thing with, you know, Mega Man and some of your other long-lost franchises that deserve a little bit of love? Alright, stay tuned for the full review and be sure to like and subscribe to show your support. Thanks a lot.